Hi friends, this is Rakesh from Let's Make Learning Simple channel. So in the previous video, we would have discussed about the factory design pattern in a theoretical manner using some real-time examples and real-time uh, problems. In this video, we will discuss about the factory design pattern using uh, some sample or simple program. So, so I will try to relate this program with the real-time example so suppose if you are a customer if you're trying to if you're going to a restaurant and you're uh, you're trying to get the veg food data so what you do is you will just ask the food server to get the veg food details so that food server will analyze your request if suppose if you are a vegetarian you will, you will retain the veg food detail and suppose if you ask regarding the non veg food detail means that food server will analyze your request and it he will return the non veg food details so here veg food and non veg food technically veg food is a class non veg food is a class both these classes have some common things some common fields and common methods that common fields and common methods are called food class fields so that's the reason why i have defined this class as abstract so when we will use abstract means whenever the concrete classes uh, whenever the code reusable is required means we will use the abstract classes if suppose there is another food called italian food that food also has bill per person items means then that italian food extends food class so that so these are the reasons why i have defined this food class as abstract so these two fields are common for non veg food and veg food so that's the reason i have uh, defined those things in the under food class and then this is the constructor here i am trying to send the bill per person so for veg food there will be some rate and now for non veg food there would be some rate and then for veg items for veg there would be some items idli dosa vada and for non veg there would be biryani and chicken 65 so the data would be unique based on the based on the class but the fields are common so that's the reason we have defined these fields we have declared these fields and methods as common under food class and then this is which food this which food extends food class so all the methods and the variables would be extended to this which food so we can using this with uh, constructor we are trying to set we are trying to call the super class constructor using super keyword so super under means it will try to set the bill per person as under for veg food and it will try to add the items like idli dosa vada for veg food similarly for non veg food uh, non veg food also extends a food class so the fields and methods uh, the fields and methods would be extended to the non veg food class also and then here we are trying to call the super class constructor using super keyword by sending 120 as the bill per person so for non veg food the rate would be 120 for veg food the rate would be 100 and then we are setting the items items dot that add biryani and chicken 65 till now we have been discussed about the factory design pattern implementation this non veg food veg food food is the common thing so whenever there is some reusability requirement then we will use abstract class like that now comes the factory design class so this is the factory design class you can relate this factory design class with the food server actual food server in the restaurant so he will try to get the request from the customer that is food type so if the customer tells the food type is veg means he will return the veg food object by creating the veg food object if suppose the customer is non vegetarian means the customer tells the food type is non veg and the food server will return the non veg food object by creating the non veg food object so both this veg food and non veg food objects can be casted to food because the food is the abstract class for veg food and non veg food so this is the factory class method the factory class method should be static the reason behind that is this is similar to util method so you can call this method without creating the object itself so for the for the first criteria is the method should be static and the second criteria is we should send the input for uh, deciding the type of object 
so here the food type is the input based on the food type the object would be decided and created and be and it will be written if suppose the if the customer is asking the italian food type means there won't be the if suppose that that restaurant doesn't serve the italian food means it will tell that we are not serving italian food so return null so these are the scenarios how the food this uh, food uh, sorry factory design method factory class pattern method will act so based on uh, input it will decide the type of object needs to be written so here the main class so here there are two customers customer 1 and customer 2 the first customer is asking the food server to get the veg food details so he is asking the food server to get the veg so based on this input the food type would be veg here so veg dot equals to veg it will return the veg food object the second customer is coming so he is asking the food server to get the non veg food data so non veg here food non non veg food type equal to non veg non veg dot equals non veg so it will return the non veg food if suppose if there is a third customer he is asking the italian means it will come here food type italian so first if fails second if fails so it will uh, go to the else part we are not serving italian and it will, it will return the null object and then using this object the data would be printed dot get items and then dot get bid suppose if you run this code you will see the following output so customer 1 items vada dosa idli which food details and the customer 2 non which food details biryani chicken 65 so this is the simplest way of explaining the factory design pattern if suppose if you have any queries regarding this please try to ask in the comment box i will try to answer those questions also so thanks once again at the end of this video you would see the channel icon here please click on that for subscribing the channel